As soon as we actually uh, had the wire in place, my uh, long rear went right off with a uh, 15, 12, 12, 15 pound king. Oh, my short's going crazy. He's got oh, a I mackerel. Just saw him. Yeah. Holding on to him. Oh, I'm, I got one. Fish on, baby. This one looked good. He jumped away, so I could only see his back. I'm already in uh, big green egg mode. Oh, yeah. Let's start smoking some kings today. Yeah. Didn't you give a second bait out? Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. So it's really nice to be able to get together again down here in Key West. I had just been uh, doing a bunch of fishing up, up home and a lot of bait fishing. I'm prepping for the winter sailfish tournaments and the spring sailfish tournaments, doing a lot of goggle eye fishing. And when you said you had some free time, I was able to bring down, you know, 50, 60 goggle eyes to see what was going on down here. and. Uh, pop the kites up and and we had quite a bite off Tennessee the week earlier and I was wondering if down here we might have the same luck. You know, yes, absolutely. Down here in the Keys, in Key West specifically, we, we always enjoy staying at Ocean Edge. It's a beautiful marina. Everything's simple. It's got good clean water. Keep your bait alive, which is very important. Um, great facility, great staff. And we pulled out of there in a matter of minutes with you already having the bait. Um, and you know, the sailfish grounds are right out front. so. Other than a quick stop to look for some small bait, because mm -hmm. you know you brought the the, the goggle eyes, um, you know you're fishing in a, in a heartbeat. And we had wind, so our our plan was for you know to get out and feel it out and see what kind of offshore bite was going on. Good morning, Captain Scotty. Hey, buddy. How are I you? Got those goggle eyes loaded up like your ass while you're getting that chum for us. Oh, you're a good man. We're ready to rock and roll. Just put me on some of that Key West action. The weather ain't bad today. Beautiful thing. The uh, cold front pass, you know, we're gonna have to go explore a little bit, but we'll go out there and figure it out, you know. We got right. kites, we got chum, we got, oh, I wanna stop and get some herring. All right, we're, uh, herring rods are ready. Some dogs are on board. Winter, winter time in the Keys, Scotty, you know the deal. All right, we'll find them. What can I, I, think I do? We're, I think we just need to start them up and I'll untie you. All right, and the D hookers are in the side drawers. Got it all. All right, brother. I was out there. I know. But yeah, so we should be able to put maybe a wire on one because you know there's plenty of kings yeah. around. I got some I got some big king wire and some little and I got some cero wire. Some tuna. You see those ballyhoos, I'd love to get a couple ceros, man. Yeah. That time of year. Well, like I said, if, if that's why I went and got that block of chum, because mm -hmm. if we end up down to the west a little bit, yeah. maybe there'll be some ballyhoo. Most of the ballyhoo out You nor, nor I are ever gonna drive past an opportunity to catch bait. You know, we saw a few boats hanging out on the markers, so we, we figured we might as well go ahead and jump in there and try to catch a few herring. Um, we made pretty short work of that. We got us, you know, maybe 30 herring real quick. Mm -hmm. um, very important to have like a, a mixed bag of baits, in my opinion. Find them, Cap. Patties. It don't take long when it's like that. That's right. Oh, Scotty. Yeah, that's how you do it quick. Five at a time? Yeah, man. I've got four more for three more for you. Um, so we had the sailfish, the big baits taken care of. Mm -hmm. And then I said, well, let's might as well look and see if we see any pelicans diving because who knows, what if there is no sailfish around? What if there is no kingfish around? We might need to chum up some tuna fish. Yeah, so yeah. we we uh, we definitely gonna look for some peltrids and uh, we pulled in and um, I think we made you know a few few casts. It wasn't great. The bait was kind of running. I think we were a little late getting to the party, mm -hmm. um, but we had enough. And once we had all three different baits, uh, it was time. I felt confident enough to head offshore. All right, Scotty, we got every bait that you can have in Key West, but Ballyhoo. Let's go feed them to something. I'm gonna get out there on the edge of the reef and see what we can find. All right, let me bring the edge. I'm putting them kites right on it. Um, Scotty, you want to fly them out of the, the riggers, you think? <laughs> yeah, it'd be a nice spread. We got the slide one down on the bottom. I'm going to put that trolling motor down. I'll get her down. All right, you got it? Yeah, man. It's cool that we decided that we're going to go with wire, 
as we're setting up. We get the kites up, my rod's already set up without it, so it took a few minutes to start switching over. And since we were there, we got, we had the new uh, Rodan trolling motor, dropped that down to hold us in place, and the kites popped up. We, we used the uh, Gemlux outriggers, and we just fired them both up, and we're all set. A lot of setup, but once you get them up, really nice. All right, you're ready to go. Let me take this off here. You got some wire, we'll put, put some threads on those. Go, go, go double and goggle eyes on that out the deep side. And while I was starting to get the wire out, it's like, let's put a bait out. <laughs> while I'm tying the first knot, you're like winding a uh, noodle. It's like, all right, we're gonna start with wire today. <laughs> Got bit on the way out, buddy. Wire, but Pat, you found the right spot. I couldn't tie the knots fast enough to see what was actually cutting us off. I was hoping Wahoo or Big Kings, and man, it was Big Kings. Oh, my short's going crazy. He's got oh, a I just saw him, yeah. Holding on to him. Fish on, baby. Yeah, you had a great plan. We started with wire because we want to catch everything while we we're figuring it out. Was it gonna be a sailfishy day or was it gonna be a kingfishy day? And it didn't take long, we found out it was gonna be a kingfishy day. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Simrad. BioEsque Solutions, clean, disinfect, protect. Waypoint TV. The destination for outdoor entertainment. Yeti, built for the wild. Ameritrail Trailers. Daiwa. Golden Boat Lifts. And by Killer Dock. As soon as we actually uh, had the wire in place, my uh, long rear went right off with a uh, really nice at 15, 12, 12, 15 pound king. And I've, I'm already in uh, big green egg mode. Let's start smoking some kings today. Oh, my short's going crazy. He's got oh, a mag yeah. holding on to him. Fish on, baby. Oh, it was just a little five pounder. It's fighting. It's coming under. Thank you. So you got a new little bamboo gaff up there. <laughs> Is that a homemade duck key job? Josh made that for us for Christmas. Oh, yeah. You're going to like that one. Don't bruise the meat. Where's he buying the old uh, <laughs> bamboo hat? From his new, new house in Ocean City. Got a whole forest in the back. Everybody got one. All right, let's get that hook out. Nice, baby. Good start. Listen, I'm not gonna complain when you're catching smoker kings like that. You know, that, that's a great fish, a big fish, a powerful fish. Uh, one of the apex predators on the edge of the reef. I mean, they literally de de devour everything. Oh. He ain't moving out, he's playing dead. Look at him. That looks like a Vanita. They like cut him in half. Second bird kind of get in on this action. There it is. Acceleration. No, 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 no. What kind of fish was it? That's the question. It was hard to tell. <laughs> it was moving too fast for one of those little sharks. I, can I know that. Well, it got cut in half by a king, but then the... <laughs> The dead head float back. I don't know what got it. I've got the long over here now. It's long, long, short. Uh, the bonita eating it. Man, there's a lot of freaking birds. I don't know if we that's should a, turn them loose. That's a kingfish, or... man. Yeah. You want to turn one loose? Uh, yeah, I think we shoot for 35, 30 plus for the rest of the day. We got plenty. Plenty for the smoker. See if I can de-hook him with this. All right. That's a solid 20 pounder. I got it. You think it'll work? 
what we do. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like when you get around some big fish, there's multiple, that's, that's your size, right? So if you're catching five pounders, it seems like you catch five pounders. If you're catching 30 pounders, it seems like you're catching 30 pounders. And, and that became uh, evident when, you know, both of us doubled up mm -hmm. and both drags were screaming. Oh! Oh, that's the one you're looking for. <laughs> right in the middle of this. That's what they call a smoker, Scotty. <laughs> Stay tight. Stay tight. Try it. Oh, I'm, I got one. Hold on to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't even get my second bait this out. This one looked good. He jumped away, so I could only see his back. <laughs> but he looked nice and wide. You know, it's the beautiful thing. We didn't have to drop a 450 foot of anchor line down to get set on this spot. We don't like it. Dude, that's a nice fish, bro. All right. That's 30. I mean, I can't even see him yet, but he's 30, I think. All right. And you can. I'll uh, grab that gap. Would you put it back in the cooler? Yeah. Okay. It's a little short, so <laughs> whenever you're ready. You got it? Yeah. That's a nice fish, buddy. Oh, he's coming. He's dragging him over the rail. Nice fish. All right, you're going to have to put a new hook on there. All right, I'll deal with that. Get you right. All right. Thank you, sir. No worries. To let Josh know his epoxy job is fantastic. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, he's good. He's down there. Oh, God. 15 feet, and he looks big now. All right. Holy moly. Nice, bro. <laughs> nice. I'm going to let Fish him. On. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ain't no break around here, Scott. Whoa. Old one eye. He didn't see it coming. Oh, I got you, buddy. I got you by a half pound. <laughs> When you put that bait on the surface and suspend it there, <laughs> and those dudes hunt them, they come high and out of the water, and they clip them right in half. Like, I, how many times you just reel in a head and yeah. with a precision cut that you've never seen? But man, those fish airing out is about as cool as it gets. It is as cool as it gets. Want more Into the Blue? Well, you can watch all our shows and seasons on Waypoint TV. Go to waypointtv.com, where you can learn how to watch on all your TVs and devices. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Scales, every degree of water. Hawks K Resort, find what lures you. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Battle Born Batteries. Costa Pro Series. Nikon. Spear1KeyWest.com and by Rodan Marine Systems. You move five miles, we're back on that edge again, and the wind was just like it was at, uh, 30 minutes earlier. So we went back to the red kites and tried to find that 50 pounder, and it just didn't work out. But it's crazy how that edge, and you noticed where the wind was. It's got some weight to it. Sandbar or what? Go jump. No. I'm getting a bite too. Walking away then. Got one walking away. Big old king mackerel. Goodness gracious. He's a pink one. Some nice kingfish. Let him go. All right, he's a shrimp eater. Oh yeah, pretty. <laughs> there you go. All right. Hey, I just want to take a minute to talk to you about our new Yamaha Hellmaster EX. 
It's a really cool feature. We use it mostly for leaving the dock and docking purposes, but there are a pack full of features for fishing too. One of my favorites is, and me and Steve are out, a lot of times we get stuck with the current and the tide fishing over the motors. But with the new drift point feature, I can set the boat side to the current instead of the motor is going to take over on their own and it's not going to try to keep me in one place. It's not going to try to do anything. It's just going to keep me on my course. I'm presently pointing northwest. The current is now running from bow to stern off the port side of the boat. So me and Steve now have 36 feet of boat to work with. We don't get in each other's way when we're working fish or trying to bait fish, whatever it takes. With the drift point feature just maintaining the heading, we're able to catch more fish and stay out of each other's way. Besides drift point, the next feature which I use all the time is stay point. A lot of times I'm fishing by myself without a mate. I can run out to the edge of the reef and I hit stay point, which is gonna hold my nose into the wind and maintain uh, forward motion. That way, when the wind's blowing, I can step away from the wheel, launch the kites, and I don't have to worry about the bow coming around and putting the kites into an area where there's no wind. So I point the boat into the wind so I can get full features of the wind going down the port side and the starboard side, so my left and right kite will go up easily, and then I can get to fishing. The last feature, which is really cool, is fish point. A lot of times the current is raging out there, and we don't want to fish with the motors in the way. So I can turn the boat 180 degrees, put the bow in the current, and then hit fish point, allow me to fish off the bow. I don't have to worry about working around the motors to catch the fish. Nothing worse than hooking up a fish of a lifetime and having them dive into the props at the last minute and cutting them off. Thanks to Yamaha, the new Hellmaster EX, we're putting way more fish in the boat and having a lot more fun doing it. Simrads Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin. That last kingfish kind of shut it all down for a little bit. Let's go uh, take a look over yonder. I'm going to throw these baits if they look decent in the wild. Hey, it's always good to make a little wiggle because, you know, we had already put our time in. Mm -hmm. We were hoping for a sailfish, tuna fish, wahoo. And, I mean, we were running low on bait because of the king mackerel bites. Right. Well, we still had all those pilchards to get rid of, so it's time to go into tuna mode. Trying to catch something beside the kingfish, Scotty. Oh! Tuna. This a tuna hole? This is the old tuna hole. I like the tuna hole. See if she's holding any. You know, we, we've already had some really good fishing, and we had those pelchers. We had time left. I uh, wanted to see if we could change something up. You know, we make it uh, out there to the well-known tuna spot, and um, a couple boats there. It's hard to unleash your bait all at once. You need to make sure you're kind of in the right spot, figure out your drift. So we were just kind of trickling the bait out. You know, nothing too uh, rapid, nothing really got going, nothing too crazy. But um, once we saw a few surface activities and saw a few busts, then we really ramped it up and started pouring the bait out. Uh-oh. 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 Got him up one time. Uh-oh. Hey, Sean. Coming right. Bonitas, under the boat. I nope. want tunas. Where are the tunas? I haven't seen any black ones yet. So many sharks. Quit saying the S word. <laughs> We're trying to get some footage. Catch a blackfin. We get to go home. We'll come and get him. Ah, oh, he's right there? Not yet. There's a shark right next to him. Shark right next to him. There it is, baby. There's dinner. Did you get it? Get there you go. Boy, there's always a rose in between the thorns, Scott. Just like on the old shrimp boats. <laughs> There's my twilight fish. I'm gonna get one more. Whenever you fish a spot that's got a lot of, a lot of pressure, so to speak. A lot of people go there. Well, guess what? A lot of sharks are going to go there. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's definitely one of those spots. And 
Um, the bonitas were fine too though, because I love those as bait. You love them as bait. They're, they're, they're a great uh, bait fish, you know, and it's something you don't have to go and, and buy. Contribute to the fact that we're keeping the bonitas mm -hmm. is, oh my gosh, I look over and there's a massive wahoo right there. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, you know, big wahoo. So I immediately drop to the deck and I start cutting Right into chunks. spear one mode. Check and see if he's eating these chunks. They go, oh, here he is right here, eating chunks out of my hand. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm almost finished. Keep him, keep him happy. Waiting for the wire to break. Oh, he's a stud too. No, he's eating it. There he is. Okay, there he is. All right, throw me. Um, yeah, he, he rolled in there hot, ready to go. Um, I'm, I'm chunking, making sure we got enough chunks. You got to tie the wire on. Um, unfortunately, the shark moved in and pushed him out. Yeah. And we didn't get him. And but there, there'll be more out there, and, and, and we'll uh, we'll still be after him. Thank you, thank you. Pretty exciting. To me. I'm so big into that being that, you know, I love to dive, I love to be underwater. I, I'd like everybody to see that fish, yeah. and, and I'd, I'd love to see him actually eat the bait, which we've done before. Um, but um, it didn't pay off, but I'm not, I'm not upset, other than you're gonna have to buy your sushi <laughs> instead of eating it, you know what I mean? Not a problem, buddy. I was in a trance watching him feed that thing.